In this section, we'll be talking about the camera controls pie menu. To access the camera controls, all you have to do is press Alt and right click. The top column is the classic camera controls that aligns the camera and the canvas to one of the main axes. Let's say if I press camera front, we'll be looking at our object from the front view or back or top view. You can also easily go to front view by pressing Alt 1. These are the same as Blender's user perspective camera controls, except you simply add Alt in front of it. So if you want to go to front view, all we have to do is press Alt 1, or side view, Alt 3, or top view, Alt 7. And if you'd like to get the opposing views, just add control in front of it. Let's say we want to look at this object from below. All I have to do is press control, Alt 7. Let's go to front view again. Now if I press control alt 1 we'll be looking from the opposite direction now you also probably noticed there's a few more items in the camera controls the left column is aligning the camera and the canvas to surface the right one is vertex and the bottom column is edge in order to use it first you need to position the cursor to one of these elements shift right click to position the cursor and when i press and hold alt and right click align camera to surface and now the camera and the canvas is perfectly aligned to this particular face. I'm going to switch the user perspective by pressing zero and just to show you what's going on here. I'm going to align the canvas to this face. Put the cursor there, press alt, right click, align camera to surface. There are also shortcuts for these. Let's position the cursor, let's say to this face. When I press Alt, multiplication sign, now we are aligned to the surface. We can also align the camera to an edge or a vertex. If I position the cursor near the edge, it doesn't have to be right on it. And if I press Alt, forward slash on numpad, you'll see that the camera is now aligned to the edge. Occasionally, the camera comes sideways, looking like this. You can click camera tilt. Let's say we would like to rotate the camera 90 degrees this way or the opposite direction, or zero. You can also tilt the camera using the slider to any random value. And if I draw a rectangle in the remove mode, I'll get this perfectly aligned cut. Let's do the same. Again, something similar on this side. Shift right click and Alt forward slash. Now, instead of aligning the canvas this way, what if I wanted to align it perpendicular to the edge? Instead of align camera to edge, let's choose align camera to edge front. And now this is how the canvas is positioned. And let's switch the camera view. Let's draw another shape. Let's enter and K. Switch to user perspective. And here's what we get. Very similar to the other one, except now we are actually doing cutting sideways. And again, let's put the cursor here. And this time, let's try the third option. Alt, right click, and let's choose align camera to edge right. And this is very similar to the first one, except 90 degrees to it. And let's go to camera view, and let's do the same operation here. And now, almost the same thing. We simply cut it from a different angle. Similarly, let's try to snap to vertex. Again, just position the cursor near a vertex and align camera to vertex. Now, you will notice that although the camera rotation is aligned to the vertex normal, it did not actually snap to the vertex. If you also want to snap to canvas to this particular vertex, simply Alt right click and cursor to vertex center. And if we look from the camera view, let's do a similar cut like the ones we have done before. Press K. Uh, let's look at it from the user perspective. Here. Shift right click again to this particular surface. I know the alignment is perfect. Maybe create a new shape. And this time, maybe let's add an instead of symmetry. Let's use this. The same way we can also snap the cursor to the center of an edge. Just position the cursor near the edge. 
Alt right click and cursor to edge center. We'll put the cursor at the center of that edge. And the same applies to a face. Let's say, let's position the cursor on this face. Alt right click and cursor to surface center. And you'll find the cursor right at the center of that particular face. There's an additional item there. Let's switch to object mode quickly. Select the mesh object, enter edit mode with the face selected. Let's subdivide this face, maybe twice. Go back to object mode, either the mesh or the grease pencil object selected. Let's position the cursor here and press Alt, right click and cursor to surface center. Now the cursor is positioned at the center of this particular face. But instead, if you choose cursor to coplanar center, then it will consider all the other faces coplanar to the main face where the cursor is nearest to, and it will position the cursor at the center of them. So these are the new camera controls Pi menu. Thank you for watching. See you next time.